The Hollywood Film Awards presented by Dodge. Oh, I should have said yes when they said, do you want a teleprompter? Um, uh, I know everyone's tired, so I'm going to make this fast. Uh, thank you for the, the Hollywood Film Award. And I think Hollywood's gotten a bad rap um, because the Hollywood I know um, is thousands upon thousands of people who work tireless hours to achieve one goal, which is storytelling. And I see so many people in this room that I've worked with um, and who've put me in this place today. The Hollywood I know um, supported an artist like Alfonso Cuaron and Jonas Cuaron to write a story that they couldn't explain, couldn't show, made no sense to anyone. Um, uh, the Hollywood I know uh, had a studio like Warner Brothers say, okay, we'll fund that movie that you can't explain and that you can't show us for m hundreds of millions of dollars. And I'm sure that shareholder meeting that day with Time Warner was great. Um, <laughs> The Hollywood I know has allowed me opportunity after opportunity to keep trying and keep doing new things and not send me out to pasture. I don't want to go to the pasture. It's cold. I'm allergic to grass and the cows are mean. So I'm, I'm grateful that I'm still here. The Hollywood I know has a producer like David Heyman who actually produces. He was there 24 seven, made sure we were okay, made sure my child had bumper guards on the trailers. Um, it's important when your child's walking and he's only a foot and a half tall. Trailer, that's where they start, about a foot and a half. The Hollywood I know has allowed me so many great moments. It's allowed me to be a better parent. It's allowed me to take care of my family. It's allowed me to work with crew members who will never get the credit. Um, it has allowed me uh, moments to grab my sack, as Camilla Alves so beautifully said to Matthew, um, and just pull that sack up high <laughs> and walk forward with that sack in my hand. A proud mother, a proud actress. Um, I'd like to thank my agents who have so many people here tonight, so it's ridiculous to mention them, but Bess Wofford and Kevin Uvane for pulling your sacks up as well <laughs> and fighting for me for roles like this one when I didn't have the, the sack to pull up to fight for. So thank you for that. And the amazing Hollywood that I know um, uh, is, is like that woman behind me. Is she still there? Yeah. The woman who couldn't speak tonight. But as she told you about the story when um, one of us decided to make a short film, that was me. I had a barn and some lights and I decided to write it and got some friends together. Matthew was there and I, what a word. <laughs> I don't know what you just said, but grab that sack. Um, <laughs> no, Camilla, you grab that sack. Uh, and uh, I sort of had a mishap with scheduling. I didn't know what I was doing. I was going to direct a film, and that's what directors do. But apparently, you're supposed to schedule actresses, and I didn't do that right. And there was my PA, Octavia. So I wrote some lines, and I said, here, you say this. And, and next thing we knew, we all watched this woman open up her mouth. And we all were very, very aware that we watched an actor be born. Only in Hollywood can a PA become an actor within 15 minutes <laughs> and then go to win an Academy Award like she did. And that is why I'm grateful to receive the Hollywood Award. Hollywood has been a very good place to me. And I think this room is filled with amazing artists some I've worked with, some I haven't. Harvey, I don't know why you don't hire me. <laughs> why don't you hire me? <laughs> I wore your wife's dress. I just... <laughs> wow, really. OK. Thank you so much for this. Live long and prosper. This is a good place. I'm so proud to be in it. Thank you so much.